Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meer Shah once again with another very important video for all the TYBNS student. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create portfolio okay, based on the case study. Now, in each and every paper, okay, if you all have noticed, there is going to be 15 mark case study where they will give you a situation with a specific amount and they ask you where if you are a portfolio manager in which all avenues or investment avenues will you choose to use that particular amount now there is a specific format in which you all can write that answer so that easily you all can score maximum marks for that 15 mark question okay so we'll be taking up a small uh, case study and thereafter we will be i'll be showing you how you all have to present that particular answer okay so the answer can be the same the values you all can change it according to the question that can uh, you know that will arrive okay so chalo, let us see the case study first now if you have been given a case study that you are a portfolio management consultant a middle class investor with investable funds of rupees 15 lakhs approaches you he wants to know what are the investment avenues available to him which will give him stable return with minimum risk now this is the case study which is given to you it costs 15 marks okay along with that they can even ask you what are the various types of risk involved that's all theory part that all can write it out from the chapter risk and return but now in order to you know give him that investment avenue okay the proper master let us let us see how we approach that particular question now first step will always be under your solution you write the characteristics of that investor now for example in this case the characteristic of the investor is that since they have told us this amount is 15 lakhs is given that investable fund is of rupees 15 lakhs and he is a middle class person so now based on any different question if it's 30 lakhs 40 lakhs only the amount changes the rest you can keep it in the same order second point will be what are the objectives of middle class investor now in this it was given that there should be minimum risk there should be stable return liquidity should be there because a middle class person needs money whenever required okay provision for old age protection to family always remember investment will always be based on those you know the middle class person or you know perspective say they might ask you the question so the first step is always note down the characteristics second the objectives of that particular investor step number three will be we'll be drawing out a chart whereby we'll show what are the different avenues available in which you can invest that particular sum of amount so in third step will be investment alternatives or avenues and then after you can draw up a chart now for example in this case since the amount was 15 lakhs okay i've divided that amount in in four in five different areas we can make five lakhs ka fixed deposit three lakhs you can invest in bond four lakhs in mutual fund one lakh in provident fund and uh, you know two lakhs in lic again any type of investment avenues you can select okay since it's like a case study and a personal response based answer you can use any type of uh, avenues uh, if you get confused you can take the same example just change the amount according to the question just remember the total of all these avenues should come to 15 lakhs like in this case case it is 15 lakhs whatever question appears in the exam based on that you can change those values so step number one, you, you had noted down all the characteristics. Second was the objective. Third is investment alternative. Once you've noted down the investment alternative, whatever investment you are taking, write a small brief detail or just a small brief about each investment, how it is beneficial. So for example, in the example which I've taken, okay, now for example, file, uh, file life was sup supposed to be invest in fixed deposit. So just mention. The investor can invest his money in fixed deposit when the risk is nil. You will get a stable rate of interest. Okay, it provides liquidity also. Then was bonds. Again, bonds is a good way of investing in government bond wherein you know, the risk is negligible. Mutual funds are there. Again, you can show mutual fund can be divided into uh, income oriented and debt oriented scheme where you can invest hybrid base pair. So 2 lakhs each you can do that. Okay, again, whatever investment avenues all have selected, just a brief information about that okay thereafter we had a public provident fund you can have ppf atc under you get deduction so there is tax benefit okay and lastly there is life insurance because since he wants uh, you know a stable person old age is a very important part of his life so that you can put the lic again meaning a small meaning of that is more than enough 
okay so characteristic object is a chart having different avenues explanation of all the avenues okay will sum up the entire case study of yours and lastly you can put a conclusion okay whereby you can drop a chart okay what or whatever diagram you had created the same thing you can just draw it up okay whereby you are showing what are the different avenues you are selecting the total amount of that and what is the percentage of that particular investment to the total so 5 lakhs divided by 15 lakh into 100 is 33 percent 3 divided by 15 into 100 is 20 percent and so on so you're going to you're utilizing the entire amount which is given to you okay in a way that you know it gives you the better half so this is one of the case study which I had shown you the you know the performa the way to do it okay you all can take a screenshot of all the slides which was gone through okay same answer can be used for each and every case study okay you just have to be very clever enough to change the amount and change the percentage and somewhat here and there otherwise the the the, the structure of the case study will remain the same okay this is a very important topic it is costing 15 marks so i hope everyone will go through this format okay it will clear all your doubt how as to you know how you have to go ahead and above in writing a case study okay i hope this is very uh, you know useful to all of you all if you have liked it see that you like the video share it to as many as possible okay time is less but see that you will share it to as many as possible with that we will be ending this video here thank you